Today we are talking about the greats, the great serial killers of India. You know the guys who became violenty, murdery, and you don't know why. Today we are going to discuss the whys, the hows, and how uh, there is probably a serial killer next to you right now. Hey, let's get into the podcast. Raman Raghav is the Bombay murderer in the seventies, right? Um, uh, actually, he's a little earlier than the seventies. I think he's like uh sixty five to sixty eight is when he mainly operated, and he definitely killed about forty people, but he may have killed more than forty people, and that's a lot of people. I mean, right? for one person. For one person to kill, yeah, dude, that's a lot of legwork. <laughs> Now I'm just saying. I feel that th- there is a good possibility that there are people like. I feel like here. My point is like governments make like companies make decisions and more people end up dying. Yeah. You know, like choking. But I'm just saying. You know, like I don't know. You make a toys. I don't know. Some toy manufacturer made a bad toy and like many children died. Yeah. But, but it's not as stressful as you know Rajan Raghav personally killing. Like my point is. You think as an institution you can kill a lot more people, but it's a good number for like one individual. Something like that. Yeah. interesting point yeah, like my, <laughs> my my point is like there's like see we now we know the name raman raghav because of the anra kashyap film raman For raghav sure. point 2 that was two. my uh, introduction to it as well correct right but the point is that the actual raman raghav okay, here we have so he was in the yeah so it's from 65 to 68 you're right from yeah. 65 to 68 is when uh, he went around and he just uh, oh <laughs> he just killed him yeah he just killed him yeah, there he was this legend them like there's no There's not even like an instrument. It just right, ra- anything he had, he like a pipe or a stone or like literally not, anything. Um, you know, like how we s- we are so used to sh- uh, seeing serial killers on like TV, the way they are portrayed I mean, either fictionally or uh, whether it's like a representation where they're like, oh, this person has this, you know, he likes to kill in this one way, and he'll do everything to follow that one process, and that's how the cops are like, oh, this is one person who's doing this. Correct. You know, like he poses the body like this, or he only uses he or she only uses this mm. one weapon. Raman Raghav had none of that. He mm. was like, he looked at one individual and be like, "I'ma kill this dude," and just kill that person with whatever was lying around or his bare hands. Got like, it. Next level brutality. Raman Raghav. The interesting part is not that he killed forty-one people. See, the point I'm trying mm. to make is the forty-one people he killed are incidental, but that's not what made him interesting. By the way, he killed forty-one people across the country. Like you just hop on a train and wherever you get out yeah. and this. But like, mostly in Bombay because that's where things are happening. Yeah, it's a happening city. It's, it's, it's a city that never sleeps, sort of thing. So yeah, lots yeah. of time to kill. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so uh, the thing with uh, Raman Raghav was that yeah. to him, he was on a mission. Like he didn't see the world that w- the way like other people were seeing it, so it was known that he was schiz- schiz- schizophrenic. 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 So he was known that he was schizophrenic, hmm. and that so he d- so basically in his world view, right. he is going around the world doing the deed. He is the police of his world. So when he saw these people, he okay. saw them like as monsters or things that had to be removed. Okay. So for example, we have that what is that guy? Up till Chapan Wala cop, who is it? I don't know. For example, up till Chapan, there is a cop who has done I don't know, fifty six encounters. Chapan is about fifty six. Yeah. Correct. Damn it! I am actually I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So he killed fifty six people. So that is more than Raman Raghav, right? Yeah. And their encounters, they're not exactly they're extrajudicial killings, exactly. but they're somehow just because they're within the confines of what we believe acceptable in our society. Yeah. It is not super free. So shouldn't we be equally freaked out? Because essentially, the extrajudicial killing. I think that is also freaky, hmm. right? Like because it that dude is a murderer, but hmm. he's not a serial killer. And murderers don't. F- No, but see, my my point is not that he is a serial killer or a murderer. Huh. The my point is coming to next. What? In his world view, in the up till Chapin Wala guy, the reason he is able to kill fifty six people and not feel weird about it is because in his world view, he is justified doing yeah. it. Yeah. And the same is true with Raman Raman Raghav. See, Raman Raghav, he is not doing it for him in his head how how he was seeing the world because in his cut of this path. Imagine that all he sees in his world is that I am the police. I have to save it. In okay. he thought. The thing is, he had a grander fantasy. He thought that that the there are three different governments after him. He thought the British Imperial government was still existing. Damn. And was, like so, my point is, Raman Raghav's brain and how is 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 like if if say somebody put a virtual reality headset on you on right. you right, just cut a dal diya. Huh. And in that virtual reality headset, 
uh, all you see is that every other human looks like a monster to you. Got it. Right, and then you look at yourself and you see, oh my God, I am the only. I'm, I'm the only one who can save this world. Exactly. So that that is what is unique about Raman Raghav. Hmm. There is in 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 his mind, hmm. and he's got this fractured kind of like brain that he had. Hmm. He was on a crusade. A very yeah. violent crusade. <laughs> <laughs> but crusades are violent only. Huh, okay. uh, but uh, yeah, cool. like he was a very yeah okay. Hmm. Yeah, so he went around. So he was being the cop from you know Aptak Chapan right. in his head. Like my point is, in my view, hmm. they are not different at all. Like for example, oh, Aptak okay. Chapan guy, the reason they he doesn't have guilt. He's not really sorry about what he did. He tells them what he did. Right. Right. Like actually, the list of delusions are pretty intense. So so what? here's what he thought. Uh, sorry, I'll just complete huh. the point. Right. Yeah. He thought. He is the. He, there are two different worlds on this planet, and he is from the world of Kanun. He is law. I am the law. I'm from the world so, of law. So he's literally like justice left and right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and oh, so he's, has, he's in his head. He's Batman who murders. Yeah. Also, uh, he he's, he also had the feeling that everybody is trying to change his sex. They're trying to turn him into a woman. Interesting. Yeah. And that's not such a bad thing, Ravan. Yeah. No. No. Just that. <laughs> it's he, just a weird he, thing to be he, paranoid he, about. <laughs> He he believed that he had this shakti in him. Hmm. Uh, what do you call a belief that other people put homosexual tendencies in his way so that he would get succumbed and turn into a woman. woman. Correct. And he kept repeating he was hundred and one percent man. Like this was a very important thing to him, right? Whoa, like I am a man. Yeah. You can't take that away from me. He was okay. uh, brought. Uh, what do you call the government brought him to Mumbai to com- commit thefts and commit criminal acts. Right. This is his belief. belief not saying the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> the three governments are even more interesting than I thought. The the three governments are the Akbar government, the British government, and the uh, Congress government. So like the all three there. Wow. So the point is not that what you call uh, what he, in his f- imagine your brain being so fractured. There's just everything's just a blend Blur. blend of like so it feels like reality to him. Hmm. So उसको नहीं फर्क पड़ता Right. So my point is, Ravan Raghav and Abhishek Chopin Cobb are essentially similar in the context that usko ham sab ne milke permission diya hai. Right. You know. It's just that one person conforms into what we think is right or wrong, and the other person is just doing his own thing. No, no. We right? gave him permission. Like we gave the uh, Abhishek Chopin guy. That's what na. That's the guy huh. who conforms. So we gave him permission to be that kind of a Correct. killer, and the other guy is just doing his own thing, and we don't understand him, so it's weird. No, no. Uh, agreed. It's yeah. weird because we don't understand him at all. Yeah, he just right. Like, he might as well be an alien. Correct. Like at this point. But that's the thing. He is, he is literally, in a weird way, hmm. in in another world. Say in his world of Kanun, and all of us just thought like Raman Raghav. Hmm. He would be fine. Right. You know. So my point is, in all the other cases, like for example, we discuss some other intense uh, serial killers, right? Like, you know what? Let's start off some other serial killers for a bit, and we'll come back to Raman Raghav because you know that guy is pretty, pretty intense, pretty intense, crazy. I think this guy's name alone is what got me interested. Uh, the name that was given to him rather hmm. is Cyanide Mohan, hmm. and uh, the very first thought is that okay, there was somebody in India killing with cyanide. And this guy's uh, this thing was very clear. Motive was like very clear. He wanted to have sex and he wanted money, and he made that happen. So he'd basically tell uh, woo women, tell them he loved them, uh, have sex with them, and then promise to marry them so they'd wear all their like jewelry and come all dressed up for the function. Only he'd give them a contraceptive pill, which is actually a pill which was laced with cyanide. They would take it, they would die. He would steal the money, he would go off, leaving them in various Correct. public restrooms. That is uh, the that is what he did to more than twenty women. Twenty women for sure. Yeah, but possibly more. more. It co- so, could but have been more. the thing is, I feel in this, I think another thing that has to be pointed out is it's not like he. It's also like how our society is, right? So yeah. these are not. Uh, it's not like he's like some super good-looking guy and like women. Yeah. This thing. Basically, he found uh, the idea was that you find really desperate women. Hmm. You know, like people who are not gotten married, or in our society, or who are not cared for, or basically people who want affection, or looking for affection. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could come from various backgrounds, but the thing is that no. So the, the more the, the specific them. thing was, they were just people who were they fell into the subset of society, hmm. jahan pe uh, what do you call? They were not able to pay their dowry. 
Got it. Right. So mm-hmm. naturally, because of that, there was basically because of society, there's an entire section of women who not be able to get married. Mm-hmm. And our cyanide Mohan guy was like, "Wait, this is a group of people." Vulnerable women. Yeah, yeah. And before this, he was a teacher, I think. <laughs> yeah, desperate <laughs> times call for desperate measure wives. Damn. Yeah, yeah. He was a teacher, so he knew his uh, chemistry. So this is why stay in school, kids. Wala vibe hai ye ki school. Chemistry pa- teachers are like killing it, man. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if he's a chemistry teacher, but he figured it out. Yeah. So apparently, if you're wondering how he got a cyanide from, so the story goes that apparently in India we use go uh, wow. in gold smithing. I think working with gold, there's some cyanide involved to clean it uh, hmm. as well. Like you use some amount of cyanide. Mm-hmm. So all you really need is a friend who is a goldsmith. To get yourself some cyanide, yeah. yeah. So I think that's how he got his hands on cyanide. If you're wondering how did someone just randomly yeah. get, get cyanide. cyanide. And he's not the only one. So mm. I mean, like there was also cyanide, cyanide Malika, mm. right? So mm. who was, who actually super wait, wait, interesting? I've, before we move on to cyanide Malika, I, I feel like even in cyanide Mohan, right? I just feel that uh, important thing to talk about is how easy it was and for how long. Like the thing is, so, like in comparison, yeah, to Raman Raghav, right? Who was mm-hmm. killing random people. <laughs> Right, I yeah. can understand. There's this crazy guy, no motive, no mm. idea, totally random. Right, right, going it's go, hard go. to catch also. Yeah, it's it's like it's I get it. It's, maybe it's difficult to catch. Hmm. Also, if you're killing people who are on the lowest strat of society, have no identification, this thing is it's all about like picking your victims. But I feel in Ramaz Raghav case, it didn't matter. It was just yeah. Jotha. It's, it's like being in like it's like being next to a tiger. Right, a psychotic tiger. Right, you know, just a regular. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't know when you're talking to Raman whether you are prey or whether you're a person. Correct. Yeah. Like for example, <laughs> if like cyanide Mohan, if you are in a room with cyanide Mohan, hmm. it's not like you know throw cyanide in your face. <laughs> like you know, just like pff, yeah, some marja. Yeah. Right. So my uh, my point with apna uh, Raman Raga was that with him you don't know how he's seeing you in his worldview. Like hmm. in, if you transform into a monster in front of his eyes and if he thinks you're gonna he'll kill you. Correct. It's funny. Yeah. Nahi Right, he, you can be cop, polit- politician, but there could be guns at him. His own yeah. life is really not the metric at which he's. Yeah, judged. the really a uh, really fun thing that I hope is true, but it's mm. like rumored, mm. is that they really try to like get a confession out of him, mm. uh, the Indian cop way. Yeah. Uh, and he said nothing because you know he's Kanun and the government is after him and he's not gonna say. And finally, why he confessed is because he was really craving chicken curry. Oh, that's a true story. And so they oh, got damn. him chicken curry, and he was like, "Okay, I'll tell you." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Actually, that's very well documented. <laughs> oh, God. He, they tried for like weeks, and he was like, "I will not tell you anything." And then they gave him chicken curry, and then then they kept giving him like nice food and stuff, and he kept telling them around say, because he wanted respect. <laughs> 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 like you don't force me. I'm just saying that guy is intense. Now it's with uh, Sinead Mohan is that he is very much part of our society. Yeah. The reason he got away killing so many people yeah. was not just his methodology, but also his target. Right. It was Weak, smart lower, target. Yeah, lower section of society. Already, uh, women who are isolated. Hmm. Right. Of course, if you are alone, isolated, no dowry, like you figure the. Yeah. benchmarks out right mm-hmm. and it's only through missed attempts or this thing like he finally got caught yeah you know but it wasn't ki oh everyone noted like people were finding you know random dead women in uh, <laughs> public bathroom like how is it that it did not like after the fifth one i would assume somebody somewhere should have taken this a little more seriously 20 that women it took <laughs> before they <I> got him <laughs> just women dying off in public bathrooms everywhere <laughs> bus know. station mid train station mein. Well, someone why? has to join these dots guys yeah, exactly <laughs> my, my point is this. I, i'm afraid but in our society we don't we care don't care so much yeah <laughs> like, like, just like oh, yeah, another mar- lonely lady oh <laughs> chalo <laughs> At least your rebirth will be better. <laughs> no, seriously, I think our society just goes like, like we treat death differently. <laughs> we don't like panic. Like like twenty, then like it's getting out of hand. Abhi, it's sort of out of, sort of jada ho gaya. Like twenty, both. Yeah. Like in case of like when the like silent moon was like, he was literally like. मुझे थोड़ा पैसा चाहिए थोड़ा दिस लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आई हैव आई हैव से व्हाट ही इज़ रनिंग इज़ एसेंशियली अ वेरी इंटेंस स्कैम yeah <laughs> with murder scam yeah it's like it comes with murder <laughs> scam wow. plus murder to me as a serial killer concept they don't intrigue me as much because jo cyanide mohan kar raha hai right he had a very clear cut 
goal goal right he just very bad at it <laughs> now the guy uh, uh, again that really freaks me out hmm. is this guy called psycho shankar oh, now damn. psycho shankar is one freaking now again we have like raman raga one end of the spectrum Psy- who who believes in something now here's the thing man psycho shankar i don't know if you know about the serial killer but he is Like, like he's from Term. If you have seen the movie Terminator, he's like fucking T uh, what one thousand, T one thousand, the liquid one. Yeah, liquid one. Yeah, he doesn't die, nahi hai, bro. For sure, he And literally he is legit. India's machete killer. Like we can do those machete horror movies and have a oh. historical background to it based on Psycho Shankar. It machete, doesn't have to be Western. Jason, or... Jason, tha na Jason X. Haan, yeah, Jason, Jason yeah. X. So yeah. Hey, have you passed? No, the Western Jason world X. has a Jason X, which is fictionalized. Fictional. We have a real Jason X. Literally, it's it's, it's dark as hell story. But all this guy yeah. did is rape and murder women with. Machete. The yeah. reason he got into pro- by the way, he, again one thing I have to give this guy like he didn't care who it was. Yeah. The reason he got so much into prominence hmm. was because he killed a police woman, raped and murdered her. Right. And he they just couldn't find him because the point is how do you find someone? Who, he's just going. Yeah. They, he just and he's not covering up his tracks. He doesn't care much about. He anything. was murdering women across South India. Just like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, like ja, wherever he is like, going, he is like, raping and murdering and machete killing. But yes, like, yes, I think so. We know very little. Hmm. Uh, like we try to find out, but we know very little about how Psycho Shankar's brain worked. Right. Apart from the fact he was just feral. Yeah. What clicked? What happened? We do not know. Apart from the fact that he was completely feral. And we know that because every time they caught him, he would. escape in the most insane way hmm. so like the first time he escaped was literally when they were transporting him and he once he escaped there were two guards who were in charge of his security and he essentially like hoodwinked them and escaped we'll have to look up as to how that first one happened but one of the guards felt so guilty that he killed himself like mere nazron ke andar se wo nikal nikal gaya so like i have to like atone for this no because like, that's because see there's a reason why See, it's like he didn't he didn't kill him ra- sir randomly. Once hmm. he the when he escaped, he killed six more women. Yeah, that. he went on a a spree. Not just women, he killed six women and like one man and a child. He was just on a murdering spree. He escaped from there, went to Bellary and just murdered, murdered the hell out of a bunch of people. Literal Jason X. Like there is no there's no like it's, logical thing. Like my point is the cops is we ran away from the cops. Yeah. Right? And that was they were transporting. He, and by the way, it's like heavy armed guard. Hmm. Usse wo bhaga. The armed guard felt so bad. So first of all, I feel he killed that armed guard also. Yeah, he's responsible for that death yeah, as well. Yeah, because the point is you can't blame the armed guard, right? Ki <laughs> wo kyu mara? Because Or, he was taking care of someone we can't comprehend. Like my point is, it's like say for example today randomly, right? Hmm. In your house, you're told to take care hmm. of like a, a feral uh, I don't know tiger. Let's say since we're in the feral tiger. You yeah. don't know how to control it. How the hell do you even if you had that? a gun? Yeah, it means nothing to, to that tiger. tiger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're not allowed to shoot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to shoot it uh, unless Which you really would want to do. do. Yeah, you can't. You can't kill it. You have yeah. to transport this. <laughs> gun has been given for your safety. Because <laughs> 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 tiger, you don't eat it. Exactly. And it ran away. That's how crazy the psycho. It's weirdly enough. I don't think it's been discussed that much in film. Never, and it, I'm like it should be though, because mm-hmm. it's as intriguing, if not like but, more intriguing than the films no, that have been made. Because I feel you know what I, I can understand why. Hmm. Because it would be so hard hmm. for someone to create a character nobody understands. See, in Ranga Rao's case, when they found him, right? They had a ch- they put him to trial. Psychos were able to evaluate him. By the way, Psycho Shankar story goes deep, right? Hmm. So what happens is so. All that happened. Yeah. All that happened. So, by the way, अभी भी चल ही रहा है उसका murder spree on है. जाता है, बाहर आता है, murder, 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 Bellary hmm. gets caught. Yeah. Right. Then, then they take him in. Escape. Then he does a second escape, which is equally psycho, yeah. where he jumps off like a building, whatever, breaks his leg, and still is on. That's what I'm saying. That's he do the second escape is not just a building hmm. twice. So he, of the one area where he was being kept, hmm. he got out of there. There was a 20 foot wall. Hmm. Then he jumped a 30 foot wall using like bed sheets and whatever, and like he's getting cut. 
the people fall blood trails and everything but he is going like terminator only there's no other way yeah and he broke his like making that broke or injured his leg right. making that 30 foot jump then finally when they caught him they put him on in this solitary there's a movies mein dikhate hai like as a super villain ko this thing with six cctv cameras and armed guards and everything so then he escaped that as well you know how he slit his throat yes. like he he had to it murder, was right it was so weird psycho chunk was kill or be killed himself because there's no alternative in his world yeah he's like either i have to murder or i leave but it. the point is we know nothing about, about his motives actually. because no he killed himself like in, in raman raghav's case usko chicken curry diya to usne bataya na hmm. agar aise raman raghav killed himself right. we know nothing about it so this trail right. ends here we have no idea who psycho shankar was what happened why did he kill god knows how many 30 40 pe- i don't know how many people it's uh, ridiculous dude he killed at least 30 women minimum wow oh yeah the numbers also are unclear because yeah. of the because of the randomness of his crimes you don't know yeah and there was just way too many and it's not like again they never got a chance to really really talk to him yeah he killed himself so here so again we have like raman raghav and we have psycho shankar no psycho shankar just does not fall into any it it is like being wild animal yeah here's the scary part right as human beings you know that this capability exists in any like capability yeah that's they'll do like every human is physically capable of by and large ending another human's life no being cyber hunter my It's point is him my point is capability here correct you have all the tools right <laughs> you can physicality same we all all have the same hardware correct the little difference between psycho shankar and anybody we know hmm. is the software <laughs> literally it's, it's like <laughs> malware tha wo <laughs> no think oh, about it apna psycho like shankar like anyway with covid i'm scared to go outside mm-hmm. and now i'm like look at people like there are software to take guy no but we should take it seriously i don't know why we don't take it like we're, like we are like wait uska kharab ho gaya aur kisi ka bhi kharab ho sakta hai like by the way you have to understand ki psycho shankar was an extreme case yeah he's a super extreme case where everybody had to acknowledge his like madness right you know but anyway so my, the point i'm trying to make is yeah ki there's like in in just depending hmm. on uh, what is in your head the way you see other people can change completely it's like for example uh, you know what i'm sure a lot of you have like pet dogs and cats yeah. right when you look at a dog and cat it don't go like food Seriously, you don't go like खाना है ये नहीं बोलते ना जैसे चिकन शॉप है चिकन है चिकन है वो हम जो सेंग बट अदर कंट्रीज पीपल लुक एट डॉग एंड कैट एंड फूड यू नो दे ईट इट व्हिच इज व्हाई दैट वन फेस्टिवल रियली लाइक अपसेट्स द होल वर्ल्ड या आई एम जस्ट सेइंग इट्स ऑल अबाउट व्हाट वी लाइक एज इंडिविजुअल्स लाइक व्हाट वी हैव थॉट वर्क्स राइट इन द फेस्टिवल in some other say alternate universe if humans are thought other humans are also okay then it'll be like a one yeah, water festival yeah it would just be like a special treat ha huh. <laughs> right <laughs> festival mein khate hain ha huh, exactly <laughs> to ho sakta hai but my mother saying is this something we all have kind of like agreed to right but yeah. every once in a while i feel who doesn't agree i feel you know what these people yeah actually represent the truth i'm not saying their actions do hmm. but their existence hmm. reveals to us the truth about our general like how we why are we here kaise hai aur hum actually kya kar sakte hain aur hum kyu hain yahan pe i actually disagree with you on mm-hmm. that a bit because i do agree that they represent a version of like what else what we could be mm-hmm. right but that is a version i don't feel it is the truth mm-hmm. uh like i'm not saying ki all of us will turn into psycho shankars no No, no. I I'm understanding the premise in which you're setting this up. Hmm. You're saying like uh, extracted of all the society and whatever we have learned from Correct. what is around us. Hmm. Remove the conditioning, and that's a human. Yeah. Right. No, no. My, my I point, disagree with that. My my point is, any human, huh. if we if we give them the same sort of like little neural box that hmm. these guys had, will lead to that outcome. My point is that it is. For example, uh, yeah, society. Hmm. Is maybe we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what do we do as human? Basically, we are all basically what
problematic with our society hmm. or what we cannot see but must okay my point is so you think that they are revealing because yes because i tell you what psycho shankar okay, that i can get on board with see psycho shankar might be the most extreme case let hmm. me build another picture for you right. your psycho shankar is at the extreme end of the spectrum hmm. of madness right. of brutality what is in the middle hmm let me paint a picture for you what if psycho shankar was a ceo he would right. be super efficient brutality as a matter of fact if you read business magazines ceos and people who deal with business the word brutality comes up all the time you will never find people with, like soci- uh, psychopath no nah, nah, what's that word sociopathy you, sociopathy i think when you don't care about other people's feeling you don't feel mm-hmm. emotions that well okay sociopath right. sociopath yeah for example those tendencies right hmm. or say a doggedness towards a goal okay. no matter the price Hmm. Is isn't that the true this thing of psycho shankar? It's towards murder, sure, hmm. and he's willing to do whatever it takes. Change right. the context of it. My point is, in our society, hmm. these are extreme cases hmm. that you, that actually tell us that if yeah, sure it's on the far end of the spectrum, sure it doesn't, uh, it's not me, right? Our huh. society, my, or ऐसे नहीं है. Correct. Tone it down, and, and you'll see, and you'll, you'll find psycho shankar everywhere. Right. Okay. Uh, so okay, so now uh, who do you move on to? So here's the thing. So there's this. Because uh, I have no idea how we're gonna move on from here. <laughs> from where? <laughs> from we are all psycho Shankar. Like we are all psycho Shankar right now. Oh okay. Nobody else is interesting only. <laughs> well, no, no. I, I have. I can. I can take it further. So now we're gonna talk about the concept of like feminism. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this, Anurag. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there is a general belief in the <laughs> Indian judicial system that women are not capable of heinous crimes just for the sake of their own, just like what they want. Yeah, like there's a earlier they thought women were not even capable of that, which is like retaliation. Maybe they will not do anything. Then they're like, "Hey, do it. Sometimes you can push somebody." Correct. Yeah. And then it turned into, but they never thought that women could actually get like uh, stabby and murdery just just for their own personal gain yeah exactly you are very wrong have you not met women before <laughs> wow <laughs> I I, like, that's problematic man mai to no. <laughs> dude we like women including me uh-huh. can be very ruthless when wanted to like right. if you want to get something mm-hmm. you will get it so here's the thing i think humans so, can yeah. be super ruthless but, but when it's as, like it's assumed that they are for women i have to say this nonsense that is the difference i agree <laughs> yeah. my point is so the according to the courts and general law system right yeah. the belief is that yeah. women generally by and large like their belief is women don't commit violent crimes for financial end <laughs> but that's that's the statement yes then comes along san and malika which is amazingly uh, again it's a lazy it's, it's the same like a cyanide mohan only lazy con essentially it's a scam murder scam murder but very 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 close to what he did um minus the rape because yeah. mm. um so what she used to do is she would hang around temples right and uh, then see who is like uh, coming to the temple and crying my life is not whatever which woman looked really uh, vulnerable and she would be like i'll do a puja for you and for that puja you need to wear all your jewelry and come and then the by the way i was saying guys <laughs> if a lady or pious person tells you to wear jewelry and come to About a poor puja <laughs> just don't <laughs> like don't go on and I, i'll take it a step further if anybody you ever meet tells you to get valuables to do something unrelated let's say, <laughs> let's give i'll give you a formula for safety <laughs> do not carry valuables when you're called for unrelated event Yeah. Just don't, you know. Yeah. Either it's a kidnapping, robbery, or, or a murder, murder. scam. <laughs> murder Jeez. scam is just a thing now. No murder scam. So, uh, yeah. So they would come, and she'd be like, "Here, take this prasad, and it's laced with cyanide." And then uh. again, cyanide she found while working as a goldsmith's assistant. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm just trying to find. How is it? Goldsmiths haven't murdered anyone. <laughs> Do we have any? I think goldsmiths. Do we have any? Do we have any? They're rich enough to make it go away. <laughs> Maybe. <dude. laughs> <laughs> I think that's very true because I know goldsmiths man like I have this underrated story uh-huh. very short so I'm going to uh, go yeah, into yeah. it gold people like gold people went on a strike because they tried to increase tax on gold hmm. and they said we'll do a hunger strike from 11 to 1 and then from 3 to 8 I was like this is just gap between meals what are you doing wow 
So I'm like, they'll they'll find a way, man. <laughs> There's a reason why we have. एक लोहार का सो सोनार का रीजन वी से दैट समथिंग इज अप If your friends are goldsmith, don't piss them off. Hey man, do you have any statistics on how many goldsmiths die of cyanide? I'm sure they, if they're using so much cyanide, they're just dying as well, right? This is not funny, but it is though. I'm just saying, hey, who has cyanide? Yeah, it's just lingering there in the. Ha, it's such a cyanide. Like, I my point is, every time I thought of cyanide, right, in movies and novel culture, yeah. I always thought of it that. मुश्किल से मिलता रहेगा ऑब्वियसली लाइक बिकॉज ओनली लाइक सुपर स्पाइस गवर्नमेंट कनेक्शन टू गेट साइनाइट असिस्टेंट बन सकते हो डिग्री भी नहीं चाहिए मुझे लगता है एटलीस्ट मोहन वो टीचर नो मैन इट्स फुल ऑन इंटेंस एनी वे Mm-hmm. Cyanide is way too freely available. Mm-hmm. It's like, but you know, India is a trippy ass country. Okay, I can buy sulfuric acid ha, off the, the counter. counter. So it makes Be sense. Be like my bathroom saaf karne ke liye. Exactly. So I feel if you can buy sulfuric <laughs> acid off the counter, cyanide makes sense. I guess so. Yeah. Like it shouldn't be hard to get, right? Yeah. That way, free country. Free country. Mm-hmm. You know what, man? In a weird way, we are a very free country. I mean, don't use it for murder or <laughs> throwing acid. I mean, of course. That goes without saying. Man, but yeah, weird. I, you know, I just realized. Did we? I wonder if somebody heard us and went like, "Hey, I can kill people with cyanide." I didn't notice. I hundred percent thought of that when I read it in the paper. I was like, "Why are you giving this information out?" Now anyone will be like, "Go to their golfs." Me, they'll be like, "Bhaiya, thoda thoda na." Cyanide, understand? <laughs> Piece of cyanide. I just needed to um, kill a cat. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> First of all, I secondly. Nobody mentions catching the person who sold the cyanide. So I don't know. So in case of cyanide, Mohan, it was clear that he was getting it from a friend. So I don't know whether he was in on the deal or he's getting a cut. Like I have no idea. Hmm. With this lady, Malika, hmm. there is no actual this thing as to once she, how should she get her cyanide? Did she buy it? Hmm. She knew it was used when she worked as an assistant. But while she's running the scam, she's too busy running the scam. Mm. She's not an assistant at that point. Man, just saying, there's some unanswered questions, man. Always, see, I feel crime, man. Right? Logistics thing is very important. Because if you follow the logistics, that's where you get the good questions. Correct. Correct. Yeah, na. Ha, cyanide ka sahi hai, bro. Baaki sab theek hai. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah. you killed somebody for gold. That's not an original no, no, story. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, if you had like say knife, I know you can buy a knife anywhere. Yeah. Like, right. Hmm. Sahi, interesting. Kaam milta hai cyanide. I want to know. People yeah. want to know. <laughs> I know. Actually, nobody needs to know. <laughs> like, if we find out, we won't tell you. <laughs> Maybe I mean, we will. What the hell? I, I know, right? Yeah. You're adults. <laughs> I know. Are, you're not some psycho shunker. Unless <laughs> <laughs> you work with. But there is one thing about this whole Sanai and Malika thing hmm. that has bothered me. That has nothing to do with anything. Correct. Okay. Hmm. It's the name. Hmm. Her name is Kempamma or something. Okay. Okay. Sorry, wait. Like, what? Like K D Kempamma. So why is it not Kempama? Wait, exactly. there's a ring to it actually. Kempama was she started doing this before Mohan did. Oh. So earlier I thought they just called her Sanan and Malika because Sanan and Mohan are, so Malika is. Hmm. But technically she started before Mohan. Hmm. She got caught also before Mohan. She started in like uh, late nineties and got caught in like two thousand and eight. Oh. Why call her Malika? Is it just because you had a Mohan you call her Malika? Because I think if that way you did it, then you should call him like uh, I don't know Kempa. Anna or something. Like, no, but I feel I don't think Sanjay Mohan has anything to do that naming convention. Yeah, his name is Mohan. Yeah, his name is Mohan. Yeah. But I just feel I think somebody in the paper just went like, man. Who Malika? Yeah, Kempama doesn't kill it. Yeah, like Malika sounds like a real like vampy name. You know, went one time Kapoor on the shit. Yeah, they went one time Kapoor on that shit. As like, a matter of fact, hard case. By the way, just for context, this is Kempama's photo. We'll we'll put it here. <laughs> yeah. She ain't wait, no Malik. <laughs> wait, that's Kempamma, and now again, one, two, three. This is the woman who is playing her in, in the, the movie. movie. There is obviously some discrepancy <laughs> in how this story got told. 
<laughs> something... camper ma, it's camper ma. She looks it's, like a camper ma. That is the better story. Yeah. And my point is, you should be afraid of a grandmom looking woman who will murder you with cyanide. Yeah, dude. That is a scary ass story. You never think a grandmom at a temple will murder you. But you, I mean, yeah, you expect a little bit of ruthlessness from a really gorgeous, uh, vampy woman. See, see, that that is social conditioning. Exactly, I'm saying because no. we see not TV so much. But my point is, gorgeous vampy women never have to kill anyone because they get what they want. Anyway, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> just, she can just be like, "Hey, you." I'll be like, "Hello, madam." <laughs> ट्रैक्सली do you think cuz i really believe in a country of almost a billion people hmm. billion that's yeah. like a fix a huge ass number we just put it here <laughs> a billion right <laughs> that's how many people we are hmm. there must be at least a few right who have all these violent tendencies For and sure. I extreme mean, intelligence we cannot assume you hmm. know that hmm. in a decade there hmm. are only like two of these Correct. outliners right there has to be more because yeah. india has an abundance of i think all the things that work really well for serial killers hmm. right we there are so many people who don't have access to like having their own identification hmm. so if like if you wipe them off the the country like you can't really prove that they were there in the first Correct. place no, no no right correct my point is of course we are talking about Yeah. Why serial killers can be here is right. Yeah, like And why they will be thriving. My point is hmm. that they are thriving. What hmm. I'm trying to make the point is that right now hmm. they are a serial killers amongst us right now. Like yeah. uh, like in the today. Hmm. Like I'm in the streets whatever who are so meticulous, hmm. so intelligent yeah. and clear cut in what they want to do, hmm. they will never get caught. They will, like as I, I rather I will go ahead to say I can re- very safely make the assumption hmm. that in the in the past, like throughout history, right, these people have existed, hmm. and they will never be caught because they just will not get. Because they understand the rules and how to circumvent them, they're highly intelligent and they know what they want. See, think about it like this: in me, what was that? They only had one part of the puzzle. Right. The full part is high intelligence, of okay, course. Okay. So the recipe for like a good serial killer is no the the, the serial killer we will never catch. Yeah, that one. The yeah. recipe for him. Or, or her. her. So, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? the serial killer? You will never catch. Right. High intelligence. Yes. Access to like decent amount of resources. Yeah. A deep understanding of of emotions, hmm. but not having them. Hmm. I understand what emotions are, but do not have them. Right. Right. So you can play them, like you can pretend to be empathetic, but nothing Correct. affects you. Also, deep understanding of how our society is built. Correct. Point is, if you are really on top of the pyramid. Hmm. Are you meticulous, smart? You could kill poor people, unknown people, indiscriminately for decades, and nobody will even notice that someone is missing. For sure, because think about it, right? Like Why go- did we jump out? We as people, hmm. not murderers or whatever, hmm. jump out of the uh, animal kingdom, right? Hmm. There are creatures who have more brute force, who hmm. are more ferocious, who are more feral. Hmm. The reason we jumped out is because we understood. how the world works correct right just the humans could just step out or they're not a part of the food chain yeah, only anymore yeah, correct right we control the food chain apex predator how did we become an apex predator correct without talents or anything mm-hmm. is because we understood something like correct. here correct right and take an apex predator amongst humans mm-hmm. how the hell are you going to catch him correct how? exactly so there yeah. is definitely yeah apex predators out there 100%. For them, because think about it. What I is feel like they're out there is for sure. I think that is true for the whole world. Hmm. The point I was trying to make is in India they would thrive, because like we have we have so many in like problems here that hmm. are integral that help them. Hmm. The fact that you know between different S- states the S- communication is not really great. So so I think it's it's yeah. it's two ways. Yeah. It's not just that we have because those can hmm. be said for a lot of developing countries. Yeah, true. But, But I was talking about us. but what makes india special hmm. is that we have places of where we have full resources where society functions totally right and we have places where society doesn't function at all with barely 100 km distance 
True. Right. So I could be a socialite in a very clear, distinct part of the world. Where in India, basically, yeah. I could be from Bombay, say Pune, man. Lo, fuck it. Yeah. Pune, Bombay, Delhi, mm-hmm. any metropolitan city, roaming yeah. in the circles where nobody will even suspect. Yeah. And within two hours, I can be in a place where there is the rule of law is just so loose, loose <laughs> yeah. that nobody notice what you're doing. Hundred percent. You'll vanish into the crowds. Yeah. You can vanish hundred thousands of people who are not documented. Yeah. Just gone. I it happens. Like companies do it all the time. What is stopping an apex predator from doing it? Exactly. So right. my so the so the place is uh, we are want to end this podcast is ki, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think uh, we are right in assuming that there may be more serial killers amongst us? Do you, do think, you think you got the vibe of आपके घर में कौन है from this <laughs> podcast? Yeah, and yeah. I I feel it's weird, right? Yeah. It is a very good chance that we may have even like even in this small sort of circuit, right? Of, of like four five hundred people. Of like, the people who watch Panda Panda, yeah. Yeah, your, you, your Panda pals. Yeah, just by <laughs> just by sheer statistics of like how people are connected, the yeah. three degree rules of separation, right? Yeah. There's a chance you might have met an apex predator and not known it. I would I you know what my brain doesn't want to agree with it hmm. in at one level where it's like no 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 pff, that that's not true but my other side of the brain is like yeah that's true man yeah you 100% met one and you have no idea who it is and on that lovely note <laughs> this is the end of the podcast uh, it was i hope you liked it please like comment and subscribe if it and was fun and let us know who your favorite indian serial killer is in the comments and maybe we'll discuss it sometime soon wow ah uh, i don't i don't like making fans of serial killers but still uh, do comment and tell us uh, what you thought of my theory though <laughs> yeah right so anyway thank you for watching and uh, we'll have new episodes we have new episodes every week so please subscribe until then